This is a Namco TV plug and play thing. This is another one from the job lot of things that I put in front of my face. And I think this one's going to be a bit more interesting because I've already tested it and it does come on, but it doesn't display anything. And it also doesn't make a noise, so that would lead me to believe that it's not just a wiring, but I don't know. Let's find out. Let's pop some batteries in. How am I going to do this? Like that. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a battery cover, which is quite annoying. But hey. And there's the on button. And there you go. Look, we get a red light. We're on the AV input there. We get absolutely nothing. And even wiggling the cable around does not bring either sound or video. Hmm. So I think we're going to have to take this thing apart and see what's going on. Uh, I'm not 100% sure whether this has been apart before. There's a sticker here which seems to go across the seam, which hasn't been broken. Yet we do have some raising of stickers here and I can see some screws. Mm, so I don't know. It may be that they started, because a couple of them are still stuck down. Maybe they started on doing this and thought, why am I even bothering? And just gave up. So let's take that one step further. Another funny thing, this time from the mighty Namco I'm taking it down like first blood, you know Rambo And what I mean by that is, oh heck I don't know It sounded pretty good, and it rhymes so long ago Props to the fellow when they're helping me out To buy all this cubic crap, without a doubt This videos probably wouldn't exist without the badass patrons So let's give them a shout A1 Bass goes first, cause last week I missed his space He also goes second, cause I feel bad A1 Bass I also mispronounced Michael Biggie as Michael Big You know like Biggie Smalls, I remember, you dig Frederick Scowen Hansen, in at number 3 Kui Jinga Sars, Newton, Dr. Funkistan, RVE Elmo's Flies, Jonathan Hardy, Skyview, Diamond, Sloan, T, John Prochek, Lee Grieve, Badger, Smudge, and Fumer 2 Come on, now, like the guys from Top Gear Tidda, SJ, Boardwalker, Jam Ragger, all here Inflate, B, Money, Sorry, Cat, Kangle, Burr Adam Taylor, McAdams, John Marlowe Jonathan Wiff, Kip Hakes, give Keisha Chance Dr. Princess Wizard, got me in a trance Ben Rush, Flux, get the money, Varoki Markovitz, 19, Paul Bailey, Kenneteri Stump and Fure, Fergus Stritton, Manky Retro Gaming You open this thing up yet, they be proclaiming Killswitch 669 and not forgetting Lodger Monkey Joe, Tokyo, over and out, Roger Peace Right, we're in and, yeah, I mean, I don't know whether this has been a part before. There is still hot glue everywhere, and... But what's that? Oh, we have a piece of red... I don't even know what that is. Looks like tinsel from a Christmas tree. Okay. So, I mean, the first culprit you'd suspect would be this wiring, but I've just got a sneaky feeling that this wiring is going to be okay. Mind you, I don't know that, so... Could do with getting this board out and I can just check continuity. Let's see if that comes out easy enough. No, it does not. Aha! Right, I think I'm going to have to take these little boards out first. Awesome. Um, hmm, this is not going to be easy to work on, is it? Right, so we're getting, in fact, I've left the batteries in. We're getting power. Yeah, so the red light comes on there. The power's definitely getting through to it. And this is the output here to the TV. And that one looks fine. I mean, it's got hot glue stuck over it. Let's check that first, though. Let's just put the multimeter in continuity. We've only got two auxiliary connections. We've got a video and an audio. So I'm guessing here we've got a black on this circuit board, which is a common ground, which will presumably go to the outside of these, but let's test that first. Beep. 
No. Alright, well, let's check the white. Does the white come up anywhere? Yes, it does. And does the red come up on the other one? Yes, it does. And the black one come up. Or does it? Yes, it does. Yes, I just wasn't on it properly. So we've got common ground, and then we've got an audio and a video. It's all fine. So what are we going to do? I'd quite like to have a bit more room to work with here, so I might have to unsolder this board. We've got quite a few connections here, which are for the joystick and buttons. If I take a picture of that, then I can desolder it, and we can work on the board easier. That's better. Now then. Now then, now then. <laughs> what do I do? Alright, so this is the power. Let's inject six volts in and see if it behaves the same. Power supply, DC voltage set to six volts. Does it still come on? Yes. Right. Now what? Well, I'll tell you what, let's follow the voltages. Where do they go? Right, got my multimeter set to DC volts. So we should have it goes through there to the switch and then back out to here. So if we've got six volts here, 5.9, yeah, 5.95, so yes, we do. And then from there, it travels, where does it go? All right, does it go to there? Yes, 5.97. And then it travels around to this via here. 5.97. Let's flip it over. And that comes up underneath this diode, which you might struggle to see. I can get this under the microscope, I think, in a minute. 5.97. And then it goes to this little transistor, 5.97. Voice over Steve here. I didn't realise while filming that this transistor was actually only outputting 5 microvolts to the emitter. So there was no voltage actually getting through this transistor. If I'd have noticed that in real time, I could have saved myself a whole heap of time and a whole heap of trouble and a whole heap of probably other things. Let's put it under the microscope. So the 6 volts from the other side is coming through at this resistor here, which is a 2.2k ohm resistor, then it goes to this side of this transi transistor, that's a Y1, recognise that, where, where do I know that from? I've, I've seen one of them recently, and does it look like it's got a crack in it? Let's clean that up. I'm not sure whether that's got a crack in it. I can't tell. No, I think it... Oh, I don't know. It does look like a crack there, doesn't it? Hmm, I don't know though. Can you tell? Let's try and measure it. How do we measure it? one of them? I think diode mode, red probe on ground. Let's see if we're getting any readings. So on this side, we're getting 1.1. Here, we're getting 0 0.3. And here, we're getting 0 0.7. So we're getting a reading everywhere. Is that right? Have we got another one on the board? Yes, we have two more there. Well, let's measure that one. 
got 5.1 mega ohms there. And there we have 330 ohms. Let's do the same down here. 2.1k and 5 mega ohms. It's very different, isn't it? Right, well, I'll just, I'm just going to take it off. Let's just take it off. Let's just take it off. Let's just take it off. I've got my hot air station set to 400 degrees and I'm at 50% airflow. Beautiful. Let's see if we can get a closer look at this now. No, we can't because it just pinged off. Right, well, I'm going to have to replace it now, aren't I? How many times? <laughs> no idea where that's gone, and it's obviously tiny, so I'm never going to find it. <sighs> See, we've got a replacement in here. Pretty sure we have, because I seem to remember doing it last time. Yes, Y1 up here. Right, let's see if that's behaving any differently. Right, so we're still on ohms. Let's see what we've got. Right, we've got 2.1k and 2.8 mega ohms. Can't remember what it was before. Is that the same? I think it probably is, isn't it? So we had 6 volts going into it there. And we still do, 5.95. And then we had, what have we got there? 3.2 and 2.6 well that's definitely not what we had before so it's kind of split the voltage up is that right we had zip we had nothing on one of them and we had three volts on the other oh i wish i knew more things but it's definitely behaving differently i think maybe no it is is it don't know let's test it I mean, I'm just, at this moment, I'm just pinning all my hopes on the fact that it looked like it had a crack. And I think the measurements are different. But if I'm honest, I don't really know. Can you tell? <laughs> can I just plug that in like that? I think I probably can. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. But see if anything comes up on the telly. Right, the TV's on. Just turn on the bench power supply. Right, there we go. Do we get anything? Yes, we do. <laughs> Right, well, I think I got massively lucky there, didn't I? Let's put all this back together, make sure that it all works, and see how stupid it is. Nice. So I'll just use some double-sided tape just to stick those edges back down and I think that's come out pretty good. I don't think you can really see it. You can see a little bit of a crease, but certainly much better than them flapping around like they were. 
So yeah, quite happy with that. Well, let's see if it works. Well, we know it works. If you were paying attention. If you weren't paying attention, does it work? It's not going to work without this battery in. I know that. All right, here it goes. Nice. Nice. Are we going to get any sound though? That's the question. Uh, let's do Galaxian. Oh! Nice! Is that it? You only get one go. Oh. Stupid game. When my fucking baby crucifies my enemies, when I'm tired of giving.